Question 21. Which of the following statements is not true? Let's begin with statement O. It says the room was damp. As you can see, in this section of the passage, we are told about a few mildewed books. Books get mildewed if they are left for a long time in a damp environment. So we can say then that the room was damp and that statement O is true. Statement P says Catherine had written in her books. Look at this section of the text. We're told about Catherine's library, that it was select and its state of dilapidation proved it to have been well used, though not altogether for a legitimate purpose. What is a legitimate purpose? It means using something for the purpose it was intended for. So in other words, the legitimate purpose for a library would be to read the books in it. But Catherine did not altogether use it for a legitimate purpose. Scarcely one chapter had escaped, a pen and ink commentary, at least the appearance of one, covering every morsel of blank that the printer had left. In other words, all of the books were written in, a pen and ink commentary. Scarcely one chapter had escaped. And this means statement P is also true. Catherine had written in her books. Statement Q says there was not much furniture in the room. Consider this part of the text. It starts with, Too stupefied to be curious myself, I fastened my door and glanced round for the bed. We're then told, The whole furniture consisted of a chair, a clothes press and a large oak case with squares cut out near the top resembling coach windows. So, if we were thinking about whether or not there was much furniture in the room, you can see that we're told there is only a chair, a clothes press and an oak case. So we can therefore say that Q is true, there was not much furniture in the room. Now consider statement R, which says Lockwood was a very good friend of Heathcliff. You can see here at the beginning of the extract we're told Mr Lockwood has been to visit Heathcliff at Wuthering Heights. A blizzard forces Lockwood to stay for the night and Zilla, the housekeeper at Wuthering Heights, takes Lockwood up to the room where he will stay. If Lockwood knew Heathcliff very well and they were good friends, then Heathcliff himself would surely take Mr Lockwood to his room. Zilla then says that her master had an odd notion about the chamber she would put me in and never let anybody lodge there willingly. This does not suggest the actions of a good friend. If you were staying with a good friend, then they themselves would choose you a decent room, not a room that they never let anyone lodge in willingly. Therefore, we can say that statement R must be untrue. We cannot say that Lockwood was a very good friend of Heathcliff because the way he is treated as a guest does not suggest this. Statement S says Lockwood was interested in what was written in the books. After Lockwood takes up one of the books and shuts it, he takes up another and another until he had examined them all. That means that statement S must be true. Lockwood was in fact interested in what was written in the books and statement R was not true, and so is the correct answer to this question. And you can show the answer of R on the answer paper like this.